Hi, I'm Sven and this is my workshop. So welcome. This is the process of the making of the Winchester lock, the hasp. Okay, I'm still wearing my PPE. The process is to turn a hinge, a hook and eye hinge, into a hasp. So the only difference is there's a, a hook on the end and I'm going to drill some holes for the lug going to rivet that in in place so what I need to do is attach this to the inside of the hasp and it actually will go through a hole in the lock plate okay so first things first we need to mark out where we need to put it so if that's Wait, we must put it there. Okay. Needs to be placed in the center. So the finger gauge. Okay, we're gonna So we need to drill some holes to cover that. So we're going to do a hole there, and a hole there, and then we're going to use a file to make a hole to actually take that. And then we'll rivet it onto the hasp. Okay, I'm going to make some noise, so I'm going to put on my uh, earmuffs. So, punch, line her up, give it a whack. Line her up. Okay, now we're going to use the uh, pedestal drill to drill those holes. Okay, that's the drilling done using the pedestal drill. Watch out, it gets a bit warm. So now I need to use the file to file the holes into little rectangles to fit that. Um, and we'll do a countersink on the other side. Okay. So I don't cut myself on the burr. I'm just going to take that burr off. Okay, so I'm going to set up. My little vise. This vice is probably older than I am, but it does the job. Set up. This might take a while. Okay, um, so the next stage is to take the square file and place it in the hole and file out those rectangular shapes. Now this is going to take a little while. But you don't want the hole wider than the thickness of the metal. Um, otherwise you'll end up with a huge hole that won't sit properly. Okay, this is going to take a while. See if it fits. 
there we go. Okay. That fits in the holes. Now we've got to actually use those lugs to actually rivet it in place. We're going to stick it into the vise and use a drill. go over here to the big vise. I'm going to rivet these, but these are a bit long, so we're going to cut them off with the angle grinder. Then we're going to rivet them just like any other rivet um, using the vise and the hammer. Okay, I'm putting on my PE. Okay, that's it. So that's riveted in place, that's not coming out. Square holes, riveted and countersunk. Okay, the next step is to take one of these plates and cut a slot in it so that the hasp slides through. that needs to be adjusted with where the slide goes okay. so the slide needs a hole like that for the hasp to come through and it slides slides into the hasp and locks the lock so to do that I'm going to mark it out going to countersink it, drill it and cut it with a um, cold chisel.